Read the question carefully after pausing the video. This question is talking about the current flowing through two wires of same length and diameter but made of different materials. Same voltage is applied across them. Different materials have different resistivities which are given in the question. So this question is a simple Ohm's law problem. It's nice to, nice to start with the schematic representation of the two wires in the developed stage. We have two wires, one of copper and another one of iron, and they both are applied with the same voltage across them. Ohm's law gives us the relation between the voltage and current as voltage equals I R. So we need a relation between the current flowing through the iron wire and the current flowing through the copper wire. But the resistance depends on the um, length of the material, area of cross section and the material itself by um, equals rho. L on A, where rho is the resistivity of the material, L is the length of the material, and A is the area of cross section. We actually need to use these two equations to get a comparison of the current flowing through the two wires, which we will do in the evaluation step. We have the voltage across the copper wire as the current through the copper wire times the resistance of the copper wire. Whereas the voltage across the iron wire is equal to the current flowing through the iron wire times the resistance of the iron wire. And in the question it says that the voltages across the iron and copper wires are the same. So we can write it as voltage across the copper should be same as that of the voltage across the iron wire. So the equation becomes the current through the copper wire times the resistance of the copper wire should be same as that of the current through the copper iron wire times the resistance of the iron wire. By rearranging the terms, we get the ratio of the current through the copper wire to the current through the iron wire as the resistance of the iron wire on resistance of the copper wire. But we have the equation connecting the resistance, the resistivity, length, and the area of cross section. If we sub that equation into this, the resistivity of the iron and uh, times the length of the iron on the area of cross section of the iron divided by the resistivity of the copper times the length of the copper on area of cross section of the copper. Yes. And we know that, uh, we know from the question that the length and the area of cross section is same for both wires. We can cancel these terms because they are essentially the same. So the current ratios are simply the resistivity ratios. And we have these numbers in the question which is 9.71 times 10 to the minus 8 or meter on 1.68 times 10 to the minus 8 meter so these things are cancelling out giving us a ratio of 5.77 which is not having any units so the current in the copper wire is 5.77 times the current in the iron wire So now in the assessment stage we can check if our answers are making any sense The two 
wires are having the same length and diameter, hence the current will depend only on the type of materials and hence the resistivities. As the resistivity increases, the current should decrease. So here, the resistivity of the copper is six times smaller than roughly six times smaller than the resistivity of the iron. So we expect the current flowing through the copper wire should be six times that of the current flowing through the iron when the voltage applied across them are same and which is roughly the answer we have.